Good morning. There was so much talking earlier, I thought I was going to have to tell everyone to be quiet when I got up, but that video was much longer than I remember. It did the, it did the work for me. So welcome. We are glad that you're here today. Uh, at The Vine, we are a community of believers who are striving to be rooted in God, growing in Christ, and reaching the world. And we are glad that you, are all, you all are here with us today. Uh, if you're visiting with us, we are especially glad that you are here and that you've trusted us with your presence this morning. We have some information about our church in the foyer. If you missed that, there's also coffee out there. There are restrooms in, in the foyer. There's also larger restrooms in the other building if those are ever taken during the service. And then there's a cry room in the back as well. If you are new to the Vine, uh, you came on what is usually our most most chaotic Sunday of the year. So welcome, and if you make it through this, know that the rest of the Sundays typically aren't as chaotic as today may be. Uh, but that's because today is our back to school Sunday. And so our worship service is going to look a little bit different than it typically does. Uh, today is focused on, on praise and scripture and prayer. And really it'll be a lot of prayer in kind of place where we would typically have a sermon. We're going to pray over our students, over our educators, and we're going to praise the God to whom we lift up those prayers. And so with each group that we pray over later on in the service, we'll invite that group of students or educators up to the front. Uh, and so we'll pray over that group. If you are new or if this is like your first Sunday here and you're like, I do not want to go up to the front during the, the prayers, that's okay. We're not going to make you. If you're, you know, my kids and if you've been here for six years, yes, you have to come up to the front. So, um, but otherwise, uh, you don't have to, uh, but we will be inviting all those groups up to the front during the, that part of the service to, to pray over our, our students and educators. Uh, so, this is, uh, like I said, a lot of back and forth, and usually it goes okay, but this is also a good and fun day to, to honor and to bless many in our church family. Uh, we have so many in our church family who are impacted by school in some way, either because they have students or we have so many teachers and staff members who work within the school system. And so this is a great way to kick off the year in a way that hopefully encourages and strengthens our students and parents, teachers, librarians, educators, professors, school staff members, IT professionals, counselors, and everyone in between all of those roles. And so because of all that, we will not have nursery or children's church today, so everyone's going to be in here together today. So again, it may be a little noisier than usual, but it's all good. Today's about kids and family and encouraging each other and all those things. And so as we think about praising God and, and praying to the God that we praise, we're going to begin this morning with a psalm of praise that Isley and Kate are going to come read for us in just a minute. And then we'll have a time of silence and reflection before we collectively Pray the Lord's Prayer together as we head into our time of worship. So, Isley and Kate, y'all go ahead and come up and read for us. Today we'll be reading Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and w you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for at his command they were created, and he established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all ocean depths, light hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding, you mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on the earth, young men and women, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens. And he has raised up for his people a horn, the praise of all his faithful servants of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. Will you now join us in a time of silence as we prepare our hearts and minds for worship? Thank you. 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right. Good morning, church. Hey, if you're able, would you stand with us? It's been about a year. We started, we first came to the vine, my family, I mean. About a year ago, it was, it was when we did this last year, and that was a huge <laughs> selling point. It's kind of gross to talk about church and sales, but that's something that, that drew us. <laughs> my wife and I are both educators, and we came, and they prayed over us and our kids. Like, this is awesome. And, like, half the congregation was up here because everybody's educators, and uh, it was super cool. So I'm glad you are here for this hopefully not too chaotic Sunday. But uh, what we're going to do is sing a few songs that remind us of, of – who God is and the reasons that we have, as Warren said, as that psalm said, the reasons that we have to praise. I know there's anxiety, there's uncertainty in a new school year for kids and students, teachers, anyone involved in education in any way. But to remember that no matter what, I've got a reason to praise. And no matter what happens, God is good. All my life, He has been faithful. And that's going to continue. All right, let's do it. You ready, Mav? I'll praise in the valley, praise on the mountain. I'll praise when I'm sure, praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when I know, praise when I'm surrounded. Cause praise is the water, my enemies drowning. As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to pray. Praise 
ago I had the, I'll say privilege, privilege of singing, singing a song at my grandma's funeral. Uh, gra- <laughs> grandma Joy lived a life of, I, I, I best I've been able to describe it is quiet faithfulness. She, uh, always in the background, she's the pastor's wife, farmer's wife, she was the one who would be in the kitchen making sure everybody else had their food, you know, never, never out front. And so when I was asked to sing at her funeral, I was going around in my brain, like, what kind of song could encapsulate Grandma Joy's life? Like, what, what, would, what would do it? And I don't know that anything could, but this is as close as I could come. I don't know that she ever heard this song, um, but I felt like it described her life. And I think this is, what, this is what I want to describe my life. This is what I want kind of my prayer to be, and, and maybe you too. When we think back on what has come before, we can say, all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I'm going to sing of the goodness of God. Let's pray these. Let's sing this prayer together this morning, y'all, as we enter a new, a new school year, a new academic year. Say, all my life, God, all these years, you've been faithful, and you're still good. That's not going to change. Circumstances change. My school changes. I'm going to a new school this year. Back to middle school. Feels like home. And everybody else, oh, you crazy. But all my life, he has been faithful. Let's sing this together. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me All my days I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire It 
darkest night You were close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived in the goodness of God And all my life Thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. Thank you that you are faithful when I see it and when I don't. Thankful, thank you that you are faithful when life seems to be good. And when I look around and say, what are you doing? Oh God, I'm so glad we are gathered here today for this moment of blessing, this moment of prayer as we look forward to a new academic year. I mean, that touches so many people's lives, both professionally and academically, personally. I'm grateful that we have a place, a space this morning to, to celebrate and to acknowledge our fears and all of your goodness as we look forward. So thank you, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, you'll go ahead and take a seat. Twenties in a bull's eye. <laughs> Good luck. Mm. 
You know, Rupert, guys have underestimated me my entire life. And for years, I never understood why. It used to really bother me. But then one day, I was driving my little boy to school, and I saw this quote by Walt Whitman. It was painted on the wall there. It said, be curious, not judgmental. I like that. So I get back in my car, and I'm driving to work. And all of a sudden, it hits me. All them fellas that used to belittle me, not a single one of them were curious. You know, they thought they had everything all figured out, and so they judged everything, and they judged everyone. And I realized that they're underestimating me. <sighs> Who I was had nothing to do with it. Because <laughs> if they were curious, they would ask questions, you know? Questions like, have you played a lot of darts, Ted? To which I would have answered, yes, sir. Every Sunday afternoon at a sports bar with my father from age 10 to I was 16 when he passed away. Barbecue sauce. So each year, uh, for the last few years, we've ordered some backpack tag, backpack tags, that's the right word, right, um, from this site, and they kind of have different phrases each year. And so when I saw that this year's phrase on the tag was, be curious, ask questions, I, I knew the clip that had to be played in conjunction with the backpack tags. Uh, and I love that scene in Ted Lasso that even takes on greater meaning if you know the future of the show. I won't spoil that if you don't, but you should, you should watch it. It's good. Um, but I love that scene and what it has to say about curiosity. And I think we find there's great value, of course, in curiosity. There's great value in asking questions. Questions can, can help us to grow and learn and discover Good questions are good for all of us, whether we are a student, a parent, educator, a working professional, an empty nester, a retiree, or whatever else categories we may fall into. Curiosity and questions are, are good for all of us. And I think the beginning of a school year is a good time to remind us of the value of curiosity, of asking questions, of, of knowing other people's stories. And so for especially for our students, my hope is that this school year will bring about opportunities for you to be curious. To be curious about yourself, about the world around you, about subjects at school, about your interests, about your friends, and about your faith. So I want to pray for us now, and then we'll get into our kind of prayers of blessings and stuff for our different groups. So let's pray. God, our teacher, who helps us to understand the world around us, Thank you for the privilege of education and for instilling within us the capacity to learn, discover, and grow. Because of your vibrant imagination, we all grow and develop differently and diversely. You made us so that we are always learning, whether we are preparing to return to a classroom or finished with them entirely. In your eyes, God, every kind of learning is good. So bless everyone as they learn at their own pace and in their own way. God, who came as a child to show us how to be more fully human, protect us, encourage us, inspire us, strengthen us. God, our mother, nurture and guide us as we journey forward. God, our father, grant us peace for the journey ahead. God of wonder and curiosity, open our minds to the amazing world around us. Be with us when we are confused. Encourage us when we are curious. Guide us as we learn so that we may grow in wisdom. At the beginning of this school year, we ask for your blessings upon students, educators, and the families and friends who support all of them. And we ask that you make us lifelong learners who never grow tired of being curious. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, 
So now we're going to begin sort of inviting our different groups up to the front, and then different individuals or couples are going to come and, and pray for those groups. And so as I said at the beginning, as we invite these groups, if you are a part of that group, you're welcome to come up here, or you can stay in your seat. If you're not comfortable coming up here, either is fine. Uh, our first group is going to be our pre-K and elementary students. So we're going to have them come up first. If, if a parent or sibling needs to come with the student, that's okay. And again, if you need to stay in your seat, that's okay too. But come up, go ahead and come on up. Pre-K and elementaryers. And y'all can just, uh, why don't y'all just take a seat here on the front. Find a place to sit here. What a good looking group. All right. Okay, so I've got, so did y'all hear me talk about questions and how questions are good? So I'm going to ask y'all a couple of questions, okay? Uh, do y'all like questions? How many of you ask your parents a lot of questions? You do? What kind of questions? Uh, I thought so. If you're not raising your hand, I bet you're not telling the truth. You do. What kind of questions do you like to ask your parents? Anybody? I just ask random, random ones. Just random ones. Random ones. I believe that. Anybody else? Yeah? What do you ask your parents? Can I have dessert yet? <laughs> You bug them a lot? You bug them a lot? <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes do your parents get tired of your questions sometimes? Yeah, that we, we, we do that sometimes as parents. But questions are good. Uh, I do sometimes uh, questions about funny things. About funny things? That's a good thing to ask about. Yeah, you do too? I'm, I'm, I'm so tired to do vlog all night. Oh, all right, good. Took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, so uh, here's another question for you. How many questions do you think Jesus asked in the Bible? Anybody got a guess? Tons? That's a good guess. 100. 100. That's a lot. It's actually more than that. 180 more. 1,000. Oh, less than that. 1 million. 1 million. Less than a million. What's the last one? 20. 20. More than that, somewhere between 20 and a million, I think, is a safe guess. 80, there's about 300 questions over the course of the four, there's four, you know, gospels that tell the story of Jesus. In those four, there's over 300 questions that Jesus asked. Jesus really liked questions. In fact, sometimes it seemed like he, he liked a good question more than a good answer. Do you ever ask your parents a question, and then they ask you a question in return? Like, well, what do you think? Or what did I tell you earlier, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a common one. Um, and so Jesus liked to do that, too, because Jesus liked questions. Questions are good. And uh, so w these backpack tags, there's these backpack tags are out in the back. When you leave today, you can get one of these to put on your backpack. Uh, they say, be curious, ask questions. Sound good? You don't have a backpack? Well, you have, you have one at home? Yeah, well, you can take it home and put it on your backpack at home. <laughs> you don't have to, no. Uh, so these are, these are back in the back. There's also uh, some blank ones over here. If anybody wants to take their own one home to color, uh, then you can figure out what to do with it after that. But uh, these are all... Uh, and back on that table up there. Can you get both? You can get both, yeah. So, all right, so now Emily is going to come pray for y'all, and then you can go back and sit down with your, your families again, all right? And it's short, so you're almost done, okay? Loving God, thank you for the rest and relaxation we enjoyed over the summer. We pray for our children as they begin their new school year. Bless them with joy at seeing new friends, excitement at new experiences, and a love of learning. Watch over all who learn, replacing fear with joy, anxiety with peace, and tiredness with energy. Grant their teachers wisdom, lots and lots of patience, and joy in serving their students. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. All right. Our next group is going to be middle school and high school students. Don't worry. I'm not going to ask you all any questions, middle school and high school students. So middle school and high school students, come on up. You all can just stand at the front here. You don't have to sit either. You all go ahead and come on up. And um, yeah, come on. Come on. And then Bridget and John are going to come and bless you all. 
All right, middle school and high school. This is the time in your life when you learn uh, you weren't as cute as you once were. Like, and we have to <laughs> we have to follow the elementary, and we like I don't have any cute questions to ask either. I was not prepared. Um, but one thing I will say, or a couple things, um, I just lost it. Hold on, let me find it again. Um, that reminds me of another Ted Lasso quote, be a goldfish. Um, <laughs> I'm just a goldfish right now. I for, I've forgotten. Um, yeah, and be prepared. But no, one thing I want to challenge you all, oh, I remember what I was going to say. All right, middle school and high school. It reminds me of one word, angst. Angst. I don't know if you all feel that angst, but it makes me think of showing up, you know, are the kids going to like me? Are the teachers going to like me? Is the principal going to be mean? Am I going to find my same friend group from last year? Or did everybody change over the summer? And that's just the teachers. Um, <laughs> so I can't imagine what y'all are going through. Um, but I will challenge you to do this. And it's the same challenge I try to challenge myself every year as well as my class. Number one, show up okay and then when I say show up I don't just mean be there physically you got to be there mentally try to be open to new ideas to new people try to be open to learning things um, it'll it'll be easier in the long run if you do that so number one show up number two work hard okay in the time you're allotted hopefully you'll uh, be lucky and have teachers like me who don't believe in homework but even if you do have teachers that give homework like I guarantee you, you can probably finish that work in class so show up Work hard because you can get that stuff done in class. And number three uh, is, is be positive. It's, it's easier said than done. I wish I could say that I was good at being positive because I am not. Um, but, but try to be positive, okay? When you see somebody having a bad day, give them a pat on the back um, and go from there. But be positive. So that's my spill. Sorry I forgot but then remembered. And Bridget has a prayer. <laughs> Okay, we're going to pray together. God of the universe, as this new school year begins, we pray that each one of our teens feels your presence as they walk through the halls of their school. May they feel safe and secure, growing in both knowledge and wisdom. May they be a light to those around them, offering comfort to those they encounter who are angry, lonely, hurt, disappointed, or afraid. When they face challenges, we pray that they will reach out to a trusted adult in their lives and also to you through prayer and contemplation. We pray that this school year brings academic, social, emotional growth, and more importantly, may they grow in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Thank you for the blessings of these young people in our congregation. Each one was beautifully and wonderfully made for the unique purpose of being exactly themselves. And we are thankful for their presence in our church family. In Jesus' name, amen. Our next group is our college students. So any of you college students want to come up to the front? Yeah, go ahead. Come on, Mav. You can do it. Way to lead the way. Thank you. No, Banner. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all can just stand up there, and Nick is going to bless y'all. All right, everyone, the college kids, uh, going maybe on your first day off to college or maybe your last first day ever. Aw, how sad. Uh, but, yes, I, my only word of advice is working at a college is just go find your place. College is supposed to be fun. Enjoy your time. You hopefully only do that once. Uh, so go find your, find your people, find your place, enjoy every moment of it, because I assure you, ask every adult, college life is way better than adult life. Uh, so, because then you get bills and mortgages and kids and all that good stuff, and they're all lovely, but college life is better. Let's just be honest. Uh, so I'll pray for all, pr pray for you this group. So, dear Lord God, thank you so much, uh, Lord. Uh, I pray for these students as they go off to college. I pray that they do find that group, those friends that can support them through their journey. I pray that they take their studies serious and that they realize that you are in their hands. And I pray that they realize that um, they, they have a church family that they can always come home to if they ever need support. I pray that they have an amazing time and they come back to us safely. Amen.
think Nick just said it's all downhill from here, basically. <laughs> um, all right, so now we've got our biggest group of folks here, probably, our educators. So if you work in the school system in any way, what, whatever that means, I don't want to leave anybody out if I start naming roles. So y'all go ahead and come on up to the front. And yep, here come most of our adults. <laughs> And uh, a couple of retired educators are going to come and bless this, this group of folks. So Karen and Judy are going to lead this blessing for us. Yeah, any school, elementary, preschool, college, whatever, we've got it all represented, I think. Yeah. afraid of this thing. Hello, is it on? I speak so loud anyway, and that's the because I spoke so loud in school all the time. Uh, I hope you've been watching the Olympics, uh, because I'm going to start with a commercial off the Olympics. This sprinter is on the track getting ready to run, and the official says, ready? And the sprinter goes down gets in the stance of a, of a sprint, okay, or of a 100-yard dash. What happens before the official can say anything else is all of a sudden all these people line up behind them. These people that have taught them and educated them and carried them and dried their eyes and blown their nose and everything like that, okay? The next one that I would like to use as an example would be the weightlifter and he stands in front of the bar and he looks at it and he bends down to pick it up and a multitude of hands bend down with him and that's you educator that's you you're awesome you're picking that bar up from the time that person started till now when they're picking the bar up. So thank you for that. Last year we were, this was our first, one of our first events. And I was just blown away. I was so pleased that so many educators were here. It's just an honor to be here, okay, at the Vine. All righty? Uh, okay, let's see. This, this group, represents all levels from the college down to the elementary or preschool. It also represents the crosswalk people and it represents the people that keep the environment of the school safe. All right. So we would like to thank each of you in the way you give of yourselves in the classroom. Instructing, I'm going to go over here too, instructing and inspiring young minds. Through the school, okay, you are guiding the interactions of your students as they interact with all the people there with their actions and their feelings. You are leading them uh, through the school and through life. You coordinate the environment that they live in so that it is happy and beautiful and joyful. I can't say anything more than thank you very much for all that you do every day. And please remember how important you are to our future uh, and to right now, okay? It's awesome that you have, we have, it's awesome that we have so many hands on the bar at the vine. Judy's going to. I'm going to read Romans 15, 13. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust him. Then you will overflow with confidence, hope, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so let us pray. Dear Heavenly Parent, 
please fill their hearts with courage and light. Now your mighty spirit to illuminate their quest for new adventures, ideas, and goals. Empower these educators with your strength so that they may rise to every challenge and never grow weary of mind or spirit. Grant our teachers an abundance of your wisdom so that they will be able to make good judgments when guiding and helping others along the way. Instill in them your peace and grace so that they will, when stress, anxiety come, it will not overwhelm them but allow them to continue on their way even stronger. Also, fill them with joy so that the passions that they have in their hearts for their subjects and professions will ignite the dreams of their students to develop their own passions. We ask all of this in the wonderful name of Jesus, our Savior and Teacher. Amen. All right. Um, you got to go back to the computer. <laughs> All right. That was great. Uh, thank you for everyone who participated in that and was a part of that. Uh, we're now going to uh, share our time of communion, which we do every Sunday. Um, this is a time when we are reminded of, of Jesus, uh, of his story. It's also a time when we're reminded of the, the bond, the community that we have in each other. Uh, you know, we, we've only done this, this back-to-school stuff this way uh, a couple of years now, actually. We used to do it sort of differently. But I, I think it's good to see the variety of different uh, people that we have and the, to be reminded of the different stages of life that we are all in. And yet we come together as the body of Christ, as one. And so this is a time in the service where we're kind of reminded of that, of the unity that we have in Christ, um, of, of the ways that we are connected uh, in our, our love for Christ and for what Christ has done for us. And so we're going to take time to, to think about that and remember that in communion now. And so we'll pray our prayer of confession, and then the communion plates will be passed. Uh, we, we have plates of, uh, that represent Jesus' body and the bread and uh, Jesus' blood in the cup. Uh, and so this, you're, everyone is welcome to partake of this. Uh, no one is expected to, as I always say, but anyone is welcome to, to partake of the, the bread and the juice as it comes past. Uh, and we'll just uh, enjoy this time of reflection and communion and prayer together. So let's pray our prayer. I'll pray the parts in white, and then collectively we'll pray the words in yellow. God, we confess to each other and to you, our Creator, that we fall short of being what we were created to be and what we have committed ourselves to be. Hear us, forgive us, renew our resolve to build the kingdom of Christ. We often seek out the easiest paths, paths of least involvement in places where we might be uncomfortable, or paths of self-centeredness. Hear us, forgive us, renew our resolve to build the kingdom of righteousness. We confess that we have not loved you with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. Bring us out of darkness, Lord, and into the light of your love. Hear us, forgive us, renew our resolve to build the kingdom of light. Forgive us for getting so caught up in the world's trappings and its false messages of hope that we lose sight of the hope of the kingdom, which brings healing and peace to a world in turmoil. Hear us, forgive us, renew our resolve to build the kingdom of peace. May we resolve to become more kingdom-minded, to be peacemakers here and now. Amen.
daily bread. I depend on you. I depend on you for the sun to rise, for my sleep at I depend on you, I depend on you, oh, you're the way, the truth and the lie, you're the well that never runs dry, I'm the branch and you are the vine, draw me close and teach me to abide. I'm following. I depend on you. I depend on you for the victories still in front of me. I depend on you. Depend on you. Oh, you're the way, the truth, and the life. You're the way. if you will you're the way the truth and the life you're the well that never runs dry I'm the branch and you are the vine draw me close and teach me to abide be my strength my song in the night be my all my my prize I am yours forever you're mine draw me close and teach me to abide sing that one more time You're the way, the truth, and the life. You're the well that never runs dry. I'm the branch and you 
are the vine. Draw me close and teach me to abide. Be my strength, my song in the night. Be my all, my treasure, my prize. I am yours forever, you're mine. Draw me close and teach me to abide. Because I depend on you. I depend Amen. Thank you all. Uh, a couple of announcements real quick, and then we're going to close out our time here. Uh, remember, uh, our back-to-school Sunday festivities will continue this afternoon at the Martin's house. We got a, a pool party there from 1.30 to 4, uh, and so everyone's invited to come hang out at their house. If you need the address, uh, you can come ask me, or this is Jason over here. If you don't know Jason, it's at Jason's house, uh, and so you can get the address from, from one of us if you need that, and uh, we hope to see you there. Whether or not you plan to swim, you can come and hang out and just enjoy an afternoon together, so that'll be this afternoon as a way to kind of celebrate uh, or I don't know. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, celebrate for like for a parent like me. I am celebrating the kids going back to school. I know a lot of you teachers are not celebrating the end of the summer, but I'm celebrating the end of the summer and a return to schedule and routine. So uh, yeah, so I'll be celebrating. But uh, so that's this afternoon. Then the next two Sundays. Um, as we've been talking about, we've taken a break from classes over the summer. We typically have classes uh, after our worship service. We haven't had those over the summer. But for the next two Sundays, for the next two Sundays in August, we're going to have some ministry meetings, we're calling them, after our worship service. Uh, we figured, hey, there's kind of several things we've been wanting to have meetings about and to get people together to, to think about and to talk about. And we figured, hey, we're already kind of here together on Sunday in the class time. Let's just have some of those discussions. So next Sunday, August 18th, we're going to have two options that you can go to if you want to uh, hear about or participate in various meetings. So next week, one of the meetings will be about youth and kids ministries. And then the other meeting will be about audiovisual stuff uh, that takes place on Sunday morning. So uh, if you want to learn more about either of those, know how you can get plugged in, have ideas, uh, any of that type of stuff, especially in the kids and youth one, it'll be about kind of, you know, looking for teachers and, and filling spots that we need for teachers and volunteers and, and all those types of things. Uh, and then in the AV one, I'll be leading that one going over kind of uh, what we do back there, uh, kind of a reminder of some of the things that, uh, that go into those roles. Some of the things have changed kind of over time, and so it's kind of a refresher course for anyone who who does it, uh, or if you would like to get into that ministry, then you can come and join us for that conversation. So that's next Sunday, kids and youth in one meeting, and then AV in the other. The Sunday after that, we're going to have a safety uh, kind of committee sort of meeting uh, to talk about several different things around safety and security, and then the other one will be kind of a new to the vine and greetings ministry meeting. So... Um, we hope you'll, you'll come and stick around for those conversations. And again, next week, it's Youth and Kids AV, if you want to participate in those conversations. Uh, and then our plan at this point is to resume our, our classes in September. Uh, again, assuming we've got teachers lined up and all that to do all that. So our plan is to uh, begin those in September to, to get our classes back going. All right, so now we're going to close out our time here. And Claire and Banner are going to come close us out. Claire is going to read some excerpts from 1 Corinthians, and then Banner's going to close us in prayer. So y'all come on up. Come on, guys. Banner, come on. You've been wanting to come up all service, and now that you actually get to. So y'all are going to share this mic, okay? Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always per perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Dear God, thank you for loving us and being with us always. 
help us to all have a great school give teachers extra patience with their students give students listening ears and loving hearts thank you for all we are because of you amen i was down but now i'm up yeah it's all god to say no hello name Lazarus, no Satan gon' be mad at this, I had to ask my dad if it's okay to swing my bat at this, he said, boy if I pitch it, it's out of the park, moving so quick it's like they stuck in park, they see the numbers but I see the heart, 10,000 hours you spent in the dark, putting in good work, even though you didn't even know that it would work, talk about a man who grew up in woodwork, do it for the love of it, that's the way it should work, yeah, yeah, I know some people gon' look at me crazy and I'm like, for what? I was stuck. I was down, but now I'm up. Yeah. It's all God, this ain't no love. Yeah. I used to be stuck in that mud. Yeah. yeah, I was down, but now I'm up, 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 up. I was down, but now I'm down. Now I'm up like a seesaw when I'm on a beat like an old man's lawn. Better keep off from the ground to the treetops. Got clouds on my feet like Jack and the Beast. I jumped off quick, went straight in a free fall. Cowboy hat and a mic singing. My feet like a feline, put them back in the seat like a recline. Ay, what you mean I'm not worthy? Did it with a purpose, didn't need a permit. Digging from the bottom and I brought it to the surface. Mind your business now, who I worship? Who the little guy making big, big, big moves? Tick tock, turn it to a tick, 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 boom. Yeah, I talk a lot of stuff. Probably thought it was a bluff. Till I went and turned it where? I was down, but now I'm up. Uh, let's go. Oh. It's all got 